Can you hear me? Good. Right then, I won't keep you long because the yeah, short update and I've gone. That was very short. Thank you, man. <laughs> those ten. Would you, would you love it? A short update. Right, okay. Um, as always, I cannot be for the BTO without mentioning BBS. It's one of the main reasons for my being to get more BBS squares done. And since I've been in post, we've been going up and up and up. And there's last year's graph. We had actually completed and data submitted for 352 squares. Uh, when I did the sums this week, Sarah's off. This year we've got over 400 allocated squares and the data is still coming in. So for all of you who do a BBS square, brill, great, thanks. You know how important data is, everybody uses it. It's vital for our wildlife and it is an important indicator of all sorts of stuff. I have 108. So, Last year, you may remember, at conference, we had a little competition. The best view from a BBS squared in Wales. And we had loads of pictures for you to pick the winner from. And Amanda Skull's picture of the Gower won. What happened this year? One entry. <laughs> I hassled the reps. I sent emails out. I blogged about it. One entry. So, I'm telling you all off. We will try it again next year. So if you're doing a BBS square, take your phone and if you see a nice picture, take a picture and send it in and we'll have some bit of fun with it again at next year's conference. Um, we'll run it the same way and hopefully whoever wins will get blown up picture of their picture. So House Martin Service, who took part in it this year? Was it as depressing for you as it was for me? None of my House Martins came back from last year. There were three nests I can generally see every year from my back garden and I was planning to sit there in a the deck chair with a beer and just watch them and they didn't turn up. And speaking to people across Wales, it was very patchy. They came back in some parts of Wales, they didn't in others, and then they started to nest, the crap weather came and they just packed up. Um, nationally, the picture's been much the same, very patchy. So, they're going to rerun this part of the survey again this coming year just to get an even bigger data set of what's going on. Um, if you've done it this year, you can do it again next year, as long as they're sort of, you know, same rules, um, you can come back. So basically, what we need to know is the time they come back, how long it takes them to refurbish the nest, are they repairing the old nest, are they build a new one, rough time of fledging, number of broods, where they like the nests, have you got plastic fascias, pebble dash or whatever. Nobody's allowed to climb ladders, none of that nonsense, it's basically a deck chair and a beer and look at them and just make some noise. So, if you did take part this year, thanks, and if it was poor year because of the weather, please take part again next year so we can get a decent data set and see what's happening with them. Uh, Welsh cuckoos. Um, 2011, Tony and I caught this cuckoo called David in a garden in Tregaron. Um, he was the first bird we caught on a little jolly that weekend. Um, he was named David, and he is now the oldest surviving of all the satellite tagged cuckoos. Um, Peckham, or Packham, died this year. Yolo died in his first year crossing Libya because he was knackered from his fortnight in Amsterdam. So, so the last sums done for David is that he's basically travelled 75,000 miles with this tag on his back. Um, the other Welsh bird, Disco Tony, we suspect that the tag has failed. Or we hope the tag's failed. He was last recorded somewhere in Africa, so we don't know unless he comes back and the tag kicks into life. So, the, long rec the longevity record for cuckoos is seven years. So if this one keeps going for another 18 months, he'll have broken that record. But at the moment, he's uh, well in front and doing well. Uh, we held another Welsh ringing course at Oxbridge Marsh this year. Um, the good turnout, we limited to 10 participants and it worked really, really well and nicely. We had accommodation at a Girl Guide Centre down the road and Phyllis, the warden, did the catering for us, which was superb. Only downside was, for a Welsh ringing course, we had nobody from Wales on it. <laughs> so, if anybody from Wales, if you're a trainer, a trainee, or a ringer, and you want a permit upgrade next year, that's the date. A um, number of people got in touch with me from Wales in the last week leading up to it, but at that point we were fully booked. Um, We've run it for a couple of years now and we've honed it and we've got it off pat. 
Um, if you look on the Oxford Ringing blog, you can see the type of quality birds that they're getting down there. It's a good sight and we had a lot of fun. So if you want to come, get in touch early and I'll put you on the list for next year. The Welsh Bird Report is currently with Rian and will be going to Ian shortly. And for my sins, I have been appointed photo editor for it. So if any of you budding photographers have got any cracking photographs of birds you took in Wales in 2015, you'd like to see the Welsh Bird Report, get in touch within the next 10 days at the most and send me the big high-res version. Um, the more we've got, the more we can pick for the publication. You will be acknowledged in it and a big thank you at the end as well. So any of you got any good pic photographs, um, I don't think we want the Kretzmars bunting from Bardsey because I think everybody's seen that photograph God knows how many times now. <laughs> so, congratulations. Tony and Adrian are our main speakers who are up shortly. Um, if you remember two years back, Friends of Skokum won the Marsh Award, the BTO Marsh Awards. This year, Tony and Adrian won it for 25 years of their Chuff project. Um, I'm sure if you totted up the number of people who've been dragged along carrying ladders and all the rest of it, there's an awful lot of people involved in it. But they are the driving force behind this project. Again, it's a long-term data set. And like Steve this morning, it's these long-term projects that give us the data and the good stuff. So, congratulations to you both on winning that. Um, John Lloyd, you all know and love. Used to be the regional rep for Brecon. Decided to stand down last year after 22 years of being the regional rep. He is still the honorary Welsh officer. I've told him he's not losing that job. And in his time as a regional rep, he's been on the regional network committee. He served on BTO council, finance committee, all sorts of stuff. He's done an awful lot. He was instrumental in putting pressure on council to put us to have a presence in Wales. And last year he was awarded the Tucker Medal, which he had at the Swanwick conference. This is the only time I have seen John speechless. <laughs> he did try to say a few words, but he didn't get very far. The nearest I've seen to John being speechless is the first time I met Derek Moore, which was at a BTO conference in Machantha some years back. I think Derek was new to his post at the time, and he was giving a vision of how he would like to see the Toby Valley with flooded water meadows and buffaloes and farmers, and John was going purpler and purpler and purpler and purpler. Um, he did not explode. So congratulations to John. Um, John did stand out as rep for Breckenshire, Brecknock. Andrew, Andrew King took over. Andrew, where, where is he? You all know him. County recorder. So Andy is now the regional rep for Brecknockshire. And Carmarthenshire. I've known Terry Wells for how long, Terry? You can stick your hand up. Seven years. Seven years. And I still haven't got a photograph of him. <laughs> Terry has decided that he would like to, a gradual step down from the role. So if somebody would like to take over being the rep for Camarlandshire or share responsibilities with Terry on a slow rolling handover, get in touch with us. Um, we will write to all the members, volunteers in Camarlandshire shortly. But, uh, you know, if you know any good birders, organisational skills, you fancy taking over or just sharing the load with Terry initially to make it sort of a bit easier, can you get in touch? And thanks for your effort, Terry. And Andy, thanks for taking the job on. Again, need to thank Amanda Skull, she's not here. She's been a Garden Birdwatch ambassador now for what, six, seven years, South West Wales. There's loads of talks. Um, Richard, her partner, has just got a job in Zurich. So they've now relocated to Zurich, so Amanda has packed in, so we are short of a Garden Birdwatch ambassador in South West Wales. Um, they did at one point think of moving to North Wales, where I could have reappointed her as a North Wales Garden ambassador, but not to be, she'd rather go to Zurich. Well, who can argue with that? So, um, I think her and Richard have flew, flew up to Zurich yesterday, so we can't thank them in person, but I phoned them a few weeks back and congratulated them. She's done a cracking job for us. And thank you very much, all of you people who take part in our surveys. Um, I call them our surveys, but they're everybody's surveys, because without that data that you collect, there wouldn't be the BTO or we wouldn't have these data sets to argue our call the Welsh Government. Thanks a lot.